guys, my name is Raxepticon, welcome back to Dino Dearest, we're gonna play and talk to more dinosaurs, I have to date two more dinos, there's two left, there's... There's tall long neck dinosaur with a fancy hat and a scarf, and there's the other one, the pterodactyl, stilts, that was it, stilts and spruce, and birch, and beech, knock knock knock, yes, Persephone is back, hello, anyone in there? All right, I'm coming, I'm coming. Let's try some new things. Nah. Oh, but I was told there was a bright and eager new student that lived here. I'm supposed to be guiding them around the wonderful campus. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna try all the other uh, dialogue options that we can do this time. I'm just messing, you came to the right place. Yeah, that was me, but I've just decided that school is super lame and I'm not going anymore. What? I don't understand. Why do you want to join? Why don't you want to join the lovely students' body at the Cretaceous Colleges? What? Easy there, I was just joking, I'm actually pretty excited to start. Because Cretaceous Colleges is bogus and a total scam, I'm not paying to go to that dump. How dare you insult our glorious school! Such insolence and blasphemy shall not go unpunished! Bring it on, you capitalist spawn! Prepare to be assimilated, you worthless heathen! I like the idea of her being super harmless, like, hi, and then just attacking you. Nice going, nerd, you got yourself turned into a mindless cult slave, like, immediately you have been assimilated. The end. Return to menu and retry scene. Okay, knock, 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 all on my door. Knock, 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 that's Persephone... Vor. I don't know. Hell yeah, I can't wait to start! Uh, you're, uh, welcome? If you'll just get some clothes on... Yeah, 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 okay. Knowledge sessions? Sure, if you want a boring, unenthusiastic, spiritless, spineless, brainless, knowledge hating piece of garbage. <laughs> Come on, Persephone! Well, that's definitely not me. <laughs> Smile softly, for you know you are garbage. <laughs> Persephone looks a little confused. She does not understand the true strength of being garbage. And so you got yourself dressed, ready to walk out to your newfound companion to what wondrous templars of highest education. Higher education. Okay, we made it. Probably hit the gym. All right, talk to you in a bit. Go sit down. Right now, I have to listen to these dudes. Um, he's cute, right? Not really. Wow, way to be judgmental, ass. <laughs> okay, stilts and shit. I didn't see his name again. Fuck. Uh, I am real. Sure, we'll go with that. Suddenly, Persephone looks over at the clock. Blah blah blah. Go to dining hall. Because we did all the other dialogue options, more or less. Ah, uh, Duke! That was what his name was. You wonder- what did I call him? I can't even remember now. <laughs> you wander over to where the uh, Brontosaurus is seated, long strands of spaghetti trailing from his mouth. No, they're not. Hey friend, mind if I take a seat? That's an awesome scarf, man. Where did you get it? He, look at, he looks up at you, eyes widening a bit as you sit down. Oh, hey, you were in my last class. Whoa, what's up with the way you talk? I heard, I have a stutter, okay? Sorry if I sound weird. Sorry, man, I didn't mean to make mean anything by it. Just caught me off guard is all. Her name is Duke, right? Nailed it. Uh, and the scarf I got uh, at a concert f for the Jurassic Juveniles. That punk band, y you know the one. Oh man, they're pretty terrible. <laughs> yeah, they aren't great. Catchy, but it's just a lot of repetition and loud noise. So you're into music then? Wow, a little pretentious there, are we? Please, you say pretension, I say good taste. Uh, I'm just passionate. Music is kind of like the family business, so I take it very seriously. So, who cares? Music is bogus anyway, man. So you've probably been playing from a young age, I'll go with this. Yup, since I was a t -t toddler. Hey, I've been playing the drums for a few years now. Boom, boom, psh! You know what I mean? Oh, for real? That- that's so cool! I always wanted to play the drums. Hey, you should totally come out to the theatre tonight. I'm playing with my band. I could introduce you to some people. Very nice chap. Very- very- From one hat gentleman to another. Very tip top, chip, chippy top. What? No, I know I'm gonna see your crappy band. 
Yeah, I'd love to. Just give me the deets. Give me the deets, home slice. Home slizzity slice. That's what I'm all about. Uh, oh, it's really close by camp. It's just follow the signs. It starts at eight. See you then. Wow. Cool kid going to a cool local band performance. Make sure to tell all your friends about this cool new band they've never heard of before. Even if they suck and aren't cool, then you'll probably get ridiculed by your friends. Damn! This place must be fucking gigantic if we can get a pterodactyl, stegosaurus, brontosaurus, T-Rex, stegosaurus, everything, ankylosaurus, everything is in here together. Fucking hell. Eight o'clock rolls around, and you find yourself at the venue. It's dark, and packed with people wearing weird clothes, smoking, and drinking. A few minutes go by, but no one appears on stage. Some others are beginning to know this as well, gathering around the empty stage. You notice Jew coming out of the side door and making his way across the theater. Pretend you don't know him in order to seem cool. No, I'm gonna go over to him, I know him! <laughs> Looked like he was playing a song. Oh, wait, what was the voice I gave him? Oh, hey man, I need your help. Have you seen a blue kind of stocky stegosaurus pass by here? A stego what now? What am I in this world? No. What do you want to do with him? He's our drummer and I can't find him anywhere. Well, if you're missing a drummer, I can always sob in. I'm gonna fucking nail this. Wait, really? It's to toad. I totally forgot you were a d d drummer. You'd really do that? Sure, why not? Don't know the song, but I'm gonna go up and bash shit anyway. I was a drummer in real life, by the way, so I know what I'm talking about. I know how to do this. Heck yeah! Give me them sticks! Or as we in the drum business call them, drum bangy bangies! Awesome! Let's g get up on stage then! Too late to, 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 to teach you the sets, so just go with it! Well, it looks like you're about to play jazz, so jazz is all about just going with it. Nice! You can actually play! Um, why? Why is the snare over on the right when the hi-hats are on the left? Oh god, I clicked out of the game. Drum solo! It's a lot easier when you don't... When you have to... Or it's a lot harder when you have to fucking click with a mouse. Boom, 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 Body, you're a young man, hot man, mad man, no, 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 be a man someday, you got mud on your face. What are we doing? This is not real life! Whoop! I love this song! This song is called Do Daddy Do! Whoop 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 whoop! I like how the hi-hat pedal actually goes down as well. That's cool. So what you're normally supposed to do, hit hi-hat, hi-hat with your right hand or whatever your dominant hand is, and then foot foot hand. Foot foot hand. Well that's a basic beat, but like boom doom Like doom that is not how drums sound. We fucking did it! Best! Do you hear my drum solo? Whoa! Those beats were, were rad! You're really good. Thanks, Jeeves. Red suddenly rises on his cheeks, matching his scarf. Hey, I was w w wondering... Oh, I messed that up. If maybe y you want to jam sometime? That's a euphemism for doing the do. Of course I'd love to. And so you guys jammed. Jammed it in each other. Boring! You have successfully courted Duke. Enjoy your life as a rock star in a local band. You can't just say that you jammed, jammed it in each other, and then say boring. Th those are big leaps! Revel in your success. Awesome! Okay, we have one person left. The coolest of them all. I left the coolness for Koolaboola. It's time. To fucking rock shit out! 
Oh god. Uh, hey, stop sorry. I mean, uh, sure, give me a minute. Okay, let's just head to class. There's a few lines here and there that I still haven't forgotten, but I, I feel like they don't add a whole lot. That Oh, go to class. Now we have to do stilts. Stilts is the fucking man. Stilts is the coolest dude to ever dude. Stilts is the reason that the, the term dude was created. Look at this motherfucker! Badass! Let's see what it's like to actually talk him up. Uh, I don't know. Really? You can't think of anything? Suddenly Persephone looks over the clock. Okay, see? There's not a whole lot added to them. It's just like an extra line of dialogue. Sit with stilts. Ah, good. The stoner. Great choice. I'm not judging you, not at all. I'm sure he's great. <laughs> Yo, compadre, what's cracking? <laughs> hey, I didn't catch your name back in class. What's that in your hand? Oh, this? It's a vape, man. <laughs> you suck on it and it gets you soaring. Vape nation. <laughs> soaring? Bro, you have wings. I have what? <laughs> Wings, you know, to fly. Nah, guy, it's the Kushmeister General that gets me to fly. <laughs> Come on, I'm taking you to the roof. What? Why, man? Because I want to show you how to get really high. Oh, no, you don't. I know what this is. It's a trap, man. I'll have you know the president of the college is a vaporino like me. And I'm going straight to her. My finger hurts all of a sudden. Am I having a heart attack? And he did just exactly that. Fantastic! Everyone knows you're a narc. Well, fuck you, stilts! Oh, uh, uh, I need- I didn't catch your name. Just call me stilts, ma'am, because I'm always soaring in those clouds. <laughs> oh yeah, of course, because of your wings. Oh man, that sounds awesome. Can I have some? Sure thing, man. Just be, don't become a mooch. You hear? Here, talk on some weed. After one hit, you can't get enough. The rest of your days are spent on the downward slope. Weed, cocaine, heroin, meth. I don't think that that's the natural progression of things. I don't think anyone who does weed suddenly wants to do cocaine, heroin, and meth. You waste away under the drugs, eventually abusing so many substances that your body begins producing them on its own. You become a walking narcotics factory, and you are consumed by your fellow, fellow substance abusers. Abusers. Neat. Drugs are bad. Drugs are bad, okay? Um, fucking cool. So, I did the weeds. I smoked so many weeders that I started to do cocaine that I assimilated into drugs, and then everyone started smoking me. If that's not a euphemism for sex or um, prostitution, I don't know what is. Just call me sins. Oh yeah, because you're in my what? You know, who cares? You know what? Never mind. Just let me have a hit. You shouldn't be doing the dank. It's against the law. Kid, this is like 9 million BC. There's no such thing as laws yet. Yet you have school and classes. Those are, those are rules. Well, I guess laws are not rules. Turning you in for cush consumption, you vaping vagabond. Vaping is not doing weed. Vaping is like vaporizing. Well, I guess you could put weed into it. 9 million BC. Wait, then how do we have doors and dining halls and sentience and all that jazz? Hey, don't ask me, man. I just read the lines. Ask the dumbass who's been typing all this out at 2 in the morning and giggling to himself the whole time. So meta. And with that, you suddenly begin to comprehend your own existence. You are merely a construct of a strange digital world. Your essence is nothing, only a jumbled collection of pre-crafted lines and responses, an empty vessel for other beings to fill as entertained. Is that what I am? Is that what my let's plays are? It's all a lie! Great job, you realize that you are a character in a video game. Enjoy your new life being controlled by others and being sexualized by artists on the internet in ways you don't want to imagine. Rule 34, man, it gets to us all. Um... That's one thing I never expected when doing YouTube, is that you do it, everyone talks about it, did you ever think you'd be this successful? It's like, first off, no, obviously not. But I also never expected that people would draw me in sexualized positions and scenarios. It's just weird, is that how you know you've made it? Doesn't feel like it. Uh, I didn't catch your name back in class. Oh yeah, cause your wings. So the idea is to get him to go in his wings, like I got, uh, Mikey to go in the water. Uh... You know, to fly. Nah, guys, it's Kushmeister. Well, hit me with some of the Kushmeister's finest then. Sure thing, don't become a mooch, you hear? Fuck's sake! How do we do this one? 
Okay, there's a few lines that I didn't do yet. It's a vape man, it gets you soaring. Does it have the drug in it? Bro, you have wings. I have what? You know, who cares? It's against the law. Just give me a hit. Fuck, I did the same thing again. Okay, we have to find out the, the solution to this scenario. If there even is one. I like the music. Doop, boop, 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 boop. Wings to fly. Take him to the roof. What? Because I want to show you how to get really high so we can smoke, duh. Oh, heck yeah. I haven't done a real blunt in forever. Stilts lust for some real dank bank made him an easy catch. But how would you show him what it really means to fly? Yes, we made it. You take stilts up to the roof of the school under the pretense of smoking that dank kush. You, re you reason that it's better to smoke it up here as to not attract attention of moochers. Hey, the view from up here is awesome, man. So you got the reefer or what? Kick him off the roof. What? Hey, what the hell? He tumbles off the roof with a shout and you run to the edge, seeing him suddenly right himself and skim across the school grounds. After a few minutes, he returns to the roof, ecstatic. That was incredible, man. I had no idea you could do that. Kick him off the roof again. It's the only logical solution. You kick him off once. It's awesome. Kick him off again. He dodges your kick, frowning somehow with his massive, grotesquely sharp pterodactyl beak. Whoa, alright, now you're just being a dick, I'm out of here. He leaves, end of story, wow neat, he's gone, you are a dick. <laughs> story of my life, man, I'm, I'm just a dick. Okay, he comes back. I told you, you don't need to do drugs when you've got wings. Hey, thank you, dude, Reno. It means a lot that you'd show me this. A faint tinge of red starts to creep up on his cheeks, matching his eyes. You wanna maybe go for a ride? <laughs> you can't even hold my weight. I'd freaking love to, Stiltsorino. Stiltsorino! And so you two spent the afternoon flying around together, the sun setting beautifully, as you both sit side by side on the roof. That sucks! You successfully courted Stilts. You are probably a winner. Okay, I did it. I mooched them all, I smooched them all. Would you kiss a ghost? Heck yeah. That was awesome. This game is really cool. Well, it's just a demo, again, as I said before. But I can't wait for the full game to come out. I hope it has, like, consequence to your actions. So it's not just like, you fail this, retry scene. I hope it's a case of, like, the actions you pick stop you from being able to get with that person. But maybe you can get with another person. So it's just a bunch of students, I think, that are making this game out of... Uh, a love of passion, as they said, so it'll probably be a while before a fully-fledged version of this comes out, but anytime, anything of this comes out, I'm gonna support it full, fully-fledged, because this looks like it's gonna be something really cool. Because dating games have, are nothing new. D dating games and clicking text boxes and all that is nothing new, but I like the idea of all the dinosaurs having their own unique personalities, and not doing what they think they should be doing, like... The, the, the Megalodon is not in the water. The pterodactyl dude is not flying. Those kind of things. It's really cool. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, punch that like button in the face. Like a boss. And high fives all around. Whoosh, whoosh. Well, thank you guys. And I will see all you dudes in the next video. Part two. I hit you harder than that! Oh, you better go in. This is a power kill. Go in. Go in. Go in. Did I catch you off guard? Bit of a different outro there. Yeah, because we've been recording so many videos going for a trip that I can't do. Go next video! It just doesn't fucking come out. Damn it!